People that are opposed to uh, a, a, a particular argument about a, a new technology are often called uh, Luddites um, or conservatives or you know, backward-looking people that want to keep the world as it is. Actually, that's, that's not right. I mean, the, the original Luddites um, were complaining not about machines, but about a new form of society that was uh, depriving them of, of, of work. Uh, and similarly today, we should, um, we should feel free to reject uh, the blandishments of the promoters of new new technologies. And one thing that's very important to remember in this context is that there are lots and lots of new technologies to choose from. Uh, in fact, we have to reject most new technologies because we're not going to live our world with 10 different types of telephone or 14 different kinds of transport machine. We need, we need a reduced uh, number that implies rejection. Uh, indeed, rejection of novelty has been central to our adoption of appropriate or sometimes inappropriate uh, machines in the, in the 20th century. Rejecting machines is something that scientists and engineers and investors do all the time and have to do. And, and we as consumers do the same, and we should feel free to do that. Of course, the advertisers of a particular product uh, insist and have to insist that we take their product, but we don't have to. We can say, no, thank you. I prefer this other one, or I prefer for the moment to buy nothing at all, or indeed, uh, I preferred the old version. I'll have a 1990s Nokia, thank you very much, not an iPhone 7. We're perfectly free to do that. Um, there is no shame in it. Uh, it doesn't imply backwardness. It doesn't imply uh, a desire to, to, uh, to make us all poorer, uh, anything, anything like that. Um, we are, or should be, free to choose.